Valsogard Enterprise. Improving everything. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to actually model a sphere in 3D modeling software. And before you jump ahead and uh, ask yourself, why would I learn how to model a sphere? Because there are already tools in almost every, like in every 3D software. Well, don't rush that fast and let's go and see why. Now let me switch to the other scene. Okay, I'm in 3ds Max and uh, I'm actually gonna start modeling a sphere and I'm gonna use the standard technique. Should I call it standard? Well, it should not be. And I'm gonna set the radius to... Yeah, doesn't really matter. 50. And I have 32 segments. Okay, the sphere is done. And I have my stats here. And uh, that's how you model a sphere by using standard technique, by using sphere tool. And I'm going to use the alternative technique, which should be the right technique. And I'm gonna create sphere using box, actually. And I'm gonna set its dimensions to 50, 50, 50. Should be good, I think, or should I double that? Yeah, I think this is gonna be better. Okay. And now I gotta add turbo smooth modifier. And uh, should be good, I think. Yeah, I should have 32 sides as well. Let me double check that. 32 sides. Yes, correct. 32 sides. Okay. And now I have to use Spherify modifier. Now, as you can see, I'm using 3ds Max, but uh, something like this should be present in uh, other software as well, whether you're using Maya or Blender, whatever, they should all have either included by default something like this, or there are scripts slash plugins for that. Anyway, now we have our cube spherified with Turbo Smooth. Turbo Smooth is basically uh, the equivalent for subdivision in other software. And uh, let's compare our spheres now and uh, let me just configure my stats total plus selection okay and i'm going to enable stats and as you can see sphere on the left has 960 triangles 482 vertices and the sphere on the right has six, se uh, sorry, 768 triangles and 386 vertices. And you can see the difference around 25 ish percent less vertices. And the, the same, I think, uh, when it comes to triangles. My math might be off a little bit, but uh, we can definitely see that we have less geometry here while accomplishing the same result. So the first reason why would you want to model the sphere in this way is, well, this is obvious and already covered, you have less geometry. Now, the second reason is in my opinion, even more important. And as you can see on the left, which is the incorrect way, we have pretty uneven density of uh, geometry and topology. Here we have less density while we have more density. And not just that, but we also have this pole here. And uh, as you know, hopefully, 
poles are not that good when it comes to preparing your models for real-time 3D engines in some like in examples like uh, Unreal Engine Unity or whatever game engine so you want to avoid poles when you can especially in cases like this because it would subdivide uh, improperly and as you can see a little bit of shading issue it's hard to see but uh, especially when it comes to animating something uh, and on the right side as you can see there are no poles and the topology density is pretty even of course here we can see a little bit of pinching it's more dense than this central area for example but overall definitely much better than the case on the left side now however there is a case where you would actually want to model your sphere in this way as far as i know the only example of course there are more examples like it's all case dependent but uh, one rare example where you would actually want to model a sphere like this is when you're modeling human eyes for your characters or animal eyes basically any eyes because you want to have different colors and uh, you maybe want to have iris uh, uh, with different color different material and they are gonna be other objects but the point is try to see what's the best option when it comes to topology yes you you get less geometry on the right side which i would recommend nine out of ten times but uh, yeah in most cases you would actually want to do things uh, in this way this is how you should model sphere when it comes to preparing your models for real-time rendering and uh, well game engines and just to clarify again i'm gonna redo it once more so i'm gonna just start with a cube or box make sides even i think this this isn't necessarily uh, the prerequisite but uh, it depends on uh, on the script and the tool that you're using but anyway it's safer and easier to make it all even now I'm going to add turbo smooth modifier which is like I said basically the equivalent of uh, subdiv or subdivision in other software and uh, feel free to pick your own number of iterations and now we have something that isn't quite spherical all the way and then I'm going to at the end add spherify modifier and that's it we have a perfect sphere with much better cleaner and more even topology and uh, yep I think that's it and that is how you actually model a sphere in uh, 3d software thank you for watching hope you that you have learned something and that this video was fun although it was short and very simple topic but this is something that is very easily overlooked by less experienced people i would definitely say that something like this is a nice trick to know anyway like i said thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content useful fun content and anyway wish you all the best see you in the next video bye bye